Hello from a chilly USC campus. Connor Morris at Chris Trevino. The Trojans just finished up their eighth spring practice of 2024, and now it's time for instant analysis. Chris, it was crazy here on campus today. So many recruits. Travis Scott is here as well, so there's a lot of buzz. People from all over saying, where's Travis Scott? I want to meet Travis Scott. What overall are some of your thoughts about practice and just the vibe on campus today? Let's not bury the lead. Travis Scott was here on campus. He was actually at USC practice at the end, interacting with players and recruits all around. It felt very Hollywood. It felt very like old school USC with Pete Carroll. Lincoln Riley started his presser with like only at USC. Very, very nonchalant, you know, just kind of a little boasting of the chest like hey this happens at usc so yeah travis scott was here cactus jack himself and you're right it was very cold out here today and it picked up there at the end if you were driving around and you were going to put down the window your friend would have been like don't you open, open up, up that, that window. window travis one, scott is a one. rapper <laughs> you don't have to explain it don't, don't explain know the joke. Well, uh, no, I'm not explaining the joke. I'm just saying for some people on YouTube might not know. Let's get to football practice today. Two quick observations from me. First, Kyron Hudson took the first rep in one of the wide receiver drills, and then later on in the drill when something didn't go right, he got frustrated and pulled someone aside and talked to them. He really looks like the leader of that room, and that makes a lot of sense because everyone is young or new, and I just wanted to shout him out. I think he's doing a nice job in the leadership department. And then Doug Belk, I continue to see him – Coach guys hard, which is awesome. Jacoby Covington made a mistake in one of the ball security drills, and Doug Belt got all angry with him. And for the second practice in a row, Malachi Crawford, or no, Jarvis Boatwright, not Malachi Crawford today, Jarvis Boatwright uh, did something that Belk wanted him to do again. And it's just nice to see him hold those guys accountable. What were your practice observations? Yeah, just a quick note on Belk. Obviously, he coached under Nick Saban and uh, Kirby Smart, so two very, very good coaches. So, yeah, he's going to ride some guys, and we've seen him ride some guys hard throughout practice and you know getting things right and he wants he wants it done how he wants it done so he's getting on them hard and I think they need it because they were not great last year so we're gonna see a I, I think a new and improved defense especially with that that cornerback room and he's on them and the secondary as well with Danton Lynn and Doug Belt but yeah uh, just practice observations not a ton going on we saw a little variance on that uh, ball security drill just a little bit different a little more thud in it you know no more stiff arming just a little more just Go through the contact. Go through the contact. We saw a little bit more new drills for the uh, linebackers, working on you know uh, moving up at the field, turning, getting their eyes right for uh, for a ball coming at them, and then defensive had a little little drill from there, a little extended drill. We've seen them work on the sleds, but they also now they're working with the, the coach with those pad arms, getting those in the and then running through some uh, footwork drills, and then attacking, weaving through a couple of standing bags. So just you know, Coach Henderson keeping them on their toes with some new drills that we've seen. Seems like every week there's there's some new drill that they're doing, and you know he mentioned you know instilling these new drills for these guys and you know having patience with them as they they try to pick it up. Some of the young guys did struggle a little bit with the, you know a lot going on doing the, the arms, going through the footwork, and then weaving through. So I, they're picking it up, but, you know, got a couple more weeks left to spring. I think they'll, they'll have it right there, and obviously with fall coming up. Tons of high school recruits, tons of coaches at practice. It was probably the most attended practice that, that we've covered, at least this spring for sure, and I'm relatively new, so maybe you've seen something in the past. But there were just a lot of people here today. Shout out to the recruiting staff. They're doing an excellent job. Yeah, I just want to say a lot of local kids on campus, a lot of groups on campus, you could feel that energy when you walked into to the practice field, Howard Jones Field, and then after, obviously, with Travis Scott there. Lots of energy going on. I haven't seen, you know, that much energy on that field in a long time in terms of having people there because, you know, they don't let a lot of people on that field. So a lot of big, big recruits here, some commits, uh, the biggest one being Dijon Lee, the five-star composite uh, cornerback in the 2025 class at a Mission Viejo. If you took all the recruits and you put them in one room, he'd be the highest in the room. He'd be the highest rated recruit in the room. See what I did there? That's two. That's two. See if you can keep up. That was amazing. Okay, moving on to post-practice. Lincoln Riley talked today. Not a ton from the head coach this afternoon. I asked him about the quarterback competition. He said, as expected, Miller is the most ahead just because he's been in this offense for the longest. And then he talked about Jake Jensen, how he got a lot of valuable experience leading up to the Holiday Bowl, being the second quarterback, and Jade Maeva, I believe Lincoln Riley said, we've taken the training wheels off from him, and we're just letting him go. So no real update, just everyone's impressed, and Lincoln Riley said he feels confident in every quarterback in the room, which I guess is good. Don't know if I necessarily believe that, but uh, it was nice to, to hear that update. We also heard from Matt Entz, who 
talked about the veteran linebackers in the room who've really impressed him, and one of those was Eric Gentry. Chris, if you want to talk about Entz or Gentry, because you were in on that scrum, the floor is yours. I'll save Gentry for after this point, but I did want to talk about Matt Entz. Obviously, we were really impressed by him when we saw him in that introductory press conference. You know, I, he blew me away. I'm sure he blew you away as well. As much so on the practice field after his first scrum, you know, said a lot of cool things, a lot of great things that if you're a UC fan, you you like hearing. You know, he didn't sugarcoat anything, but he did say that he thought they were getting better. And, you know, USC's linebacker room was not good last year. It was not good, and a lot of fans are hoping that, you know, Matt Entz is the antidote for their struggles. Instilling some hard-nosed defense, we've seen them working a lot on fundamentals, eye discipline, footwork, things that were – real bugaboos for uh, linebackers last season so these are the things that he's been working on in spring camp obviously we're just seeing those individual drills but he said in his press conference they were going to focus on the fundamentals 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 and we've been seeing that early in camp but he also said obviously his three veterans mason cobb easton mascarenas arnold and eric gentry have been the standouts just from a leadership standpoint from a playmaking standpoint and then just picking up the defense you know they, they've been around they've made plays on grass as he has said so they've seen a lot of time and they have a lot of experience and you're seeing that in camp right now he also addressed an injury to ray john davis he said he f- was going down in a practice drill or seven on seven or something and he already had a bad wrist and he tried to brace his fall with the other hand and ended up hurting his hand so that's why we haven't heard much from Rajon Davis so far this camp unfortunate injury for him a guy who seems like he just can't catch a break at USC luckily it's the spring so we'll have plenty of time to recover up until the fall but he needs all the spring reps he can get so that was too bad Matt Entz I think said you feel awful anytime a kid gets hurt and I echo that sentiment what about Eric Gentry Chris what did he have to say yeah really impressed with Eric Gentry you could tell you know when you talked to him last year during the season you know and any of the linebackers you know there was so much dark clouds over them with the defense and it was struggling and that position room was struggling but it's a clean slate this this year in the spring new defense new defensive coaches and I asked him you know what was your first impression of coach Ensign he was like man I love that guy he was just his face lit up and his face lit up talking about this defense and how they're using him and he kind of implied that they know what they're doing and how they're going to use him he said they want to use him like a jack of all trades kind of guy a jack uh what, what is it called that the thing that has all the the boy scouts use a jackknife jackknife is that what it's called where it has the different like uh i wasn't a boy scout you know you weren't a boy scout but a multi-use tool is what they want i i'm gonna think of it i'm gonna think of it it's gonna come to me later but they want to use them in a variety of different ways matt and said that he's playing the will linebacker and the sam linebacker and you know that length they have to figure out how to use him and by the sound of eric gentry sounds like they know what they're doing with him sounds like he's gonna be rushing the passer a little bit more something he did when he was at arizona state his freshman year so he's really excited about that but he's loving everything and kind of the the main point that i took away from his his talk was about the scheme was about how it's not complicated he said it's not complicated you know i like what's going on there's not a lot of overthinking. I can just play football. I paraphrase that a little bit, but he did say it's not complicated and there's not overthinking. Two of the biggest issues that Alex Grinch's scheme had last year and, you know, the linebackers were a big proponent of overthinking. We saw that on the field. So to hear that, you like to hear that as a USC fan and you're hoping, you know, with Eric Gentry, Mason Cobb, Easton Mascarenas, Rajon Davis, when he's, when he's healthy, these linebackers, linebackers can go sicko mode. Uh, this season. I knew that was coming. Yeah, you knew that was coming, but you're, they're hoping they can uh, make those plays. And, you know, Eric Gentry said, Matt Entz told them that does not matter if you're a freshman or you're a senior, the best players are going to play for him. Whoever's making plays, that's who's going to start. So it's an open competition, and right now it seems like the veterans are leading that competition. I would expect to see a lot of those three come the fall. I spoke to Mason Cobb. Danton Lynn on Monday talked about wanting the defense to develop an identity this spring on Trojans Live, so I asked Mason Cobb what is that identity so far? And he said, it's playmaking. We have a lot of playmakers on defense, so watch out. And then I asked the same thing to Christian Pierce, and he said, it's physicality. We're a lot more physical than we were a year ago, and he was really excited about that. Didn't get a ton of questions into either Cobb or Pierce. The last thing on Cobb, he said, Easton Mascarenas is really funny, and he, he makes a lot of the guys laugh in the room, which based on the vlogs that I've watched that Easton's done, that, that makes a lot of sense. He, he is a funny guy. Chris, final thoughts, final observations. Do you have any more Travis Scott things you want to throw in or time to go i can't really think of any you know we want to get out of here before it gets you know too dark start seeing the astro world i don't know i have nothing else that wasn't my best one but i had to get it in i think that's four or five 
but you know it was cool seeing you know celebrity on campus and seeing all the excitement around it and you know he hung out with the team for about five minutes or so and then before him and his group left out the back I knew there was a reason why there was four police officers in the corner I've never seen them before and they were there today so obviously uh, Cactus Jack showed up made an impression it was a fun practice to cover and I'm glad I got to do instant with you slime oh. <laughs> never a dull moment with Chris Trevino, I'm Connor Marset. This has been Instant Analysis. We'll see you next Tuesday for another Instant Analysis. I hope everyone uh, has a good few days. We'll see you then. It's lit. <laughs>